Right, so this is the second method of how to solve simultaneous equations, process of elimination. Now eliminate means to get rid of or remove, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're either going to remove the x's or the y's. Now to do that, we need to make the coefficients be the same. The coefficient is the number in front of that pronumeral. So in this case, I'm going to make the x's the same. So I want to make this a 3. I've labelled the equations again as a 1 and a 2. I'm going to rewrite equation 1 here. And setting out is oh so important. If it's nice and neat, once again, reduce your possibility of making a mistake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply equation number 2 by 3. And I can do that as long as I times every single term by 3. Okay, so it's going to be 3 times x plus 3 times y equals 3 times minus 11, which is minus 33. Now to eliminate the x's, I'm going to subtract one equation from the other. 3x take 3x is no x, so they've been eliminated. They're out of here, gone. Minus 5 take 3 is minus 8y. And be careful here because 7 minus minus 33, that becomes a positive 33, so we've got 40. And finishing off, to get rid of the times negative 8, we're going to divide by negative 8, and I end up with y equals negative 5. Just like before, in the substitution method, we aren't happy with just one solution. We want the x value as well. So we just sub it back into either equation, and I think you'll agree with me that equation number 2 will be the easier one to substitute back into. So it's x plus 5, but it's plus minus 5, so it becomes minus 5 equals minus 11. To get rid of my take 5, I'm going to add 5, and I end up with minus 6. To check that you're right, substitute both of these into your original equation. In a moment, I'll show you how you can check on your graphics calculator. But let's just do one more. Okay, we've got another one here. And number two. So once again, we wish to eliminate either the x's or the y's. Now, as you can see here, it's not just I can times one equation by a number. I'm going to have to times both. So you can either eliminate the x's or the y's, and you think, what's a number, if I wanted to eliminate the x's, what's a number that 5 and 4 both go into? And that would be 20. So if I wanted to eliminate the x's, I'd have to times by 4. So that would have to be times 4, and I'd have to times this by 5. And then we'd get 20x and they'd disappear. I'm going to change it up a bit just to be different, and I'm going to eliminate the y's, mainly because it'll be a smaller number that I have to deal with, because 2 and 3 both go into 6, and that's smaller than 20. So to make 2 become... Uh, th uh, 6, I'm going to times that by 3, and I'm going to times equation number 2 by 2. So remember, times every single term by 3. And that's probably where you would find an error if you were to make one. I sometimes forget to times every single thing by that number. And then this one, we're going to times everything by 2. So we end up with 8x plus 6y, and we can see that they have the same coefficient and 2 times 2 is 4. Once again, we subtract those equations from one another. So 15 take 8 gives me 7x. 6y take 6y is no y. And 18 take 4 is 14. And lo and behold, that gives me a lovely number of x equals 2. And we finish it off. It's going to be a little bit more irritating. Which one are we going to put the 2 back into? or well, both are annoying. I'll just go with the top one. That becomes 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2y equals 6. So 2y equals 6 take 10. And we end up with 2y equals negative 4 and y equals minus 2. And those are my solutions. Before I show you how you can check that easily on your graphics calculator, just want to alert you. Imagine if that wasn't a plus there, if it was a here, if that was a minus. So if we ended up having 15x plus 6y equals 18 and 8x minus 6y 
equals 4. Instead of subtracting the equations from one another, what do you think you do? It's correct, you would just add. So when you go 15 plus 8, you add that, you get a value for x, or not a value for x, you would get 23x. But here we go, minus 6 plus negative 6, they would cancel out. Okay, now this one won't finish nicely because I've changed the equation. We get a fraction, but I was just showing you they don't always have to be the same sign. So definitely look if they're different signs, add. Each one will be different to take it on its own merit. Now to check on our graphics calculator, it's a nice simple manner here, right? We go to our calculator, we want to go to equation here. So we're going to go down into equation, we press enter. Guess which one we're going to go to to solve simultaneous equations? Genius. We go to F1 for simultaneous. Number of unknowns, we've got X and Y. So we've got two. And notice how they've arranged this equation here. It's the X plus the Y equals your constant term. So if I look at our first equation, it was, sorry about that, it was 5 plus 2Y equals 6. So 5, 2, and 6 is what we will pop in. And we just enter that in, 5, 2, 6. And then our other one was 4, 3, and 2. So 4, 3, 2, enter. You can press enter again, or you can go up here and press solve. So we got 2 and minus 2. And those are the solutions that we got here. So pretty easy to use the, your calculator. Okay, hope that assists.